Hey, look at this. All right, I'm playing highly cruciferous. <laughs> Let's go. Um, this is somebody that I know very well who in who got me started on this wagon gambit. Um, I've actually just recorded a video on this particular opening today. So uh, nice to play highly cruciferous. And then, what was the line? Here? What was the line? Wait, I just looked at this. D5. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I just looked at this. The point is you go here, and there's some insane computer lines. I literally just analyzed this for YouTube, so hopefully I can get some sort of game. Potentially, that's him even talking to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take on C7. You lose, homie. Take on C7. I got some tricks. I got some mad tricks. <laughs> Literally just looked at this. I've also, uh, also in the video, I mentioned queen to b3. So uh, I'm ready for these two moves. Anything else? Yeah, you got me surprised. <laughs> we'll see what he comes up with. The greediest is also the trampiest. If pawn takes black is like winning or doing very well, if queen b3, things are fine. Pawn takes, I take here. And my threat is to play queen to c5, defending my bishop and threatening this f-pawn. If the queen goes to b3, I go here, threatening knight to d4. Okay, I go here. I also threaten this. I, I threaten rook to a3 as well. So I think I have two major threats now. Yeah, I go here. Boom! Oh, he didn't watch the video that I haven't published yet because I literally just made it 20 minutes ago. <laughs> oh, oh, you always are. You always got to watch those videos. He taught me this move. I even mentioned him. I give him full credit <laughs> for this move. Now, I remember this is winning for black, but um, but we shall see. I might need to remake the whole video, man, just to include this game. <laughs> You're going to make me read through the whole video. Yo, the whole thing was prep. Yo! <laughs> Say hi to YouTube. I literally just... I literally just made a video on this whole game was prep. Well, it looks like... He's gone. He's not going to be saying hi to YouTube. Oh, no. But you can still say hi, Cruciferous, in the YouTube comments whenever you see this. This was a, a super fun game. Uh, Cruciferous is the guy that kind of got me started on this line. He's the one that pointed this out. So it's, uh, it's always fun to play the creator of <laughs> a certain dubious gambit. But check this out. After queen to c2, also note that this is the exact same line that if they played knight to c3 first, then you could end up in this exact position. But after... Uh, his move, queen to c2, you give this check, the knight goes back, and d5, this is not the, like, number one thing, he's challenging me again, but I'm hearing kids coming in, it's Halloween on the day that we're recording it, it looks like they're back from school, so we're about to go do some trick-or-treating, um, instead of bishop to b7, which I guess is what the computer's giving, I was looking at this line, because it's very interesting, if they take with a pawn, you take back, and you're basically winning, because the threat is queen to c5, which is, like, kind of ridiculous, but, like, you say the bishop goes here, Queen to c5, and you're threatening this f-pawn, and you've also uh, made some alignment here with the queen. So e3 is what the computer gives, and then knight takes uh, f2 is winning because you're on the rook and the queen. Also very nice that this a file is open, so you don't have to deal with any like queen to a4 checks or anything like that. But instead, he played this move, which I do remember because I've had this move. If we look at my games uh, with white, I had this position against somebody, but in that game, I played something different. In this game, uh, I instead missed the opportunity to play what I played in this game. Um, I played takes, which I think was like, okay. And then I got some good position. Uh, like ultimately this worked out really well for me. And even here, there's some pretty nice tactics in this game. I'm not gonna go through all of it, but boom, taking on F3, sacking some stuff checkmating on the back rank. Like, it was all good, but knight to c6 is what popped out as, as a kind of interesting idea. And uh, you have multiple threats that are impossible to stop. I'm threatening here with the idea that you can't take because there's some fork. And then obviously, just as in the game, boom, you see it there, rook to a3. A very fun way <laughs> to win a game uh, if you take a 
I'm just simply winning. So thank you, Cruciferous, for teaching me about this opening that I then ultimately used to destroy you. Now destroy that like button or subscribe. Or like, I don't know, man. Just do the YouTube stuff. You got it. See ya.